It's time for Triple Play. Three stocks that we are watching in the final 30 minutes of trading with Quest Diagnostics, Caesars Entertainment, and American Airlines. Also, Josh Schaefer joining us here to play in this one. So my play today is Quest Diagnostics. It's one of the top performers in the S&P. Today's jump is the biggest daily gain that we've seen in the stock in about a year and a half. Now, the move higher coming after the company lifted the lower end of its full year earnings guidance. Quest 5% growth in its base business helped mitigate some of those concerns out there after the slowdown that we saw in its softer second quarter. With today's beat, Quest looks like it will be exiting the pandemic in a stronger position. Now, Baird analyst Eric Coldwell writing in a note to clients that the company's base business is, quote, looking good. City highlighting that that business is picking up in August and September, which, of course, would bode well in the current quarter, the fourth quarter, and as we head into the new year. And Josh, I bring this play up because so many people were thinking that Quest Diagnostics simply would not be able to hold the momentum that we saw during the pandemic that was strictly a pandemic play because of the role that they played in COVID testing. But these strong results from their base business, they're really showing that they will be around to stay and they could be a power player in this space. Absolutely. And, you know, it's a stock the street hasn't really loved either. Mm -hmm. Seven buys, 10 holds on the stock. It's not a stock that many analysts have been bullish on. So I think the earnings were very important for that case. And one other thing that was interesting from the call that I wanted to point out, Hurricane Ian impacting the company. Yeah. The company specifically said that they had all time testing at all time highs in Florida. And then they saw a drag about five cents on their adjusted earnings because of Hurricane Ian and the slowdown in testing. Something that I thought was interesting and we'll probably see from some other companies that also yeah, are high, high volume in Florida.